Monster Drums looks so promising. It's a free drum VST with tons of kit expansions that are also free, so you can use this for pretty much any style of music. Now, is it the best free drum VST plugin? Well, in this video, we're going to give it a listen, go over some of the features, and then maybe you can decide if it's the best free drum VST for you. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creative beast. Now, I've included a link down in the description so you can head over to the Monster Drum website, grab it for yourself. But right now, let's check out the default kit that comes with Monster Drums. All right, so this is the default drum kit that comes with Monster Drums. You don't have to download this one additionally. All of the other kits you have to download additionally. And again, they're free, it's easy to download, but this is the one that comes with it and it's from the creator of the plugin. So let's give it a quick listen. Pretty cool sounding kit very basic, could fit in a lot of different styles of music. And let's just listen to some of the other drums that are on there. So that's the default drum kit. I'm going to look at the expansions a little later, but right now I just kind of want to go over some of the cool features that are in Monster Drums. So first off, this plugin is capable of multi-output, which means we can output each of these drums to their own track, and then we can add effects and everything on their own track. I have a couple of videos showing how to do that in Waveform and in Cakewalk. I'll link to those down in the description in case you want to check those out. So multi-output, very cool feature, and it's one that is a must for my drum plugins because I really like to take control of each individual drum. Now, also on the interface, you can see in this section here, we have the information for the kit that's in use and the interface itself. And this section changes with every kit. So the look of the interface, the layout doesn't change, but the look of it does change. So you can see acoustic hit, uh, genre is pop and rock. And then you can see the kit maker, which is the creator of this plugin in this case. And it has a little bit of info, a single sample drum kit for pop or pop rock songs. Over here, we have our master controls for the plugin. We have a master reverb, master filter, and a master volume. Plus, if you click here, this is where you can change the kit. And then over on this side, this is where you would adjust the settings for each individual drum. So you can see it's on kick right now and I could change the volume, pan, attack, release of it. And I can also click here, and this is where I set the multi-output. So if I wanted it to output to channel two, I would do that. You can see it has 16, but there's only 12 pads. And that's because there's more drums in here than pads. And to access those extra drums, you can do that in your piano roll or in the step sequencer and whatever DAW that you use, and that's fine. So you would just click on this, change it to rim shot if you want. You can choose what output. Again, change the volume, and you would do this for each drum if you wanted to. And really, that's kind of all the features of this plugin. You can click here, it does that. That's not really a big deal, but now let's check out some of the other kits. So we'll go over to kit number two, which is this Coca-Cola kit. And it has that Coca-Cola look to it. And it says this one is good for hip hop, R&B, rap styles of music. So let's give it a listen. So that's that kit. Let's go to this next one, which is a metal kit. So if you make metal music, you might want to try this one out. It is called Rakasara Metal Kit for hardcore metal. It's a pretty cool sounding kit right there. 
And now we have this Lin style kit, which is based on the Roger Lin drum machine. So let's hear what this one sounds like. Has that classic drum machine sound. I really like that sound. Pretty cool. Let's check out the next one, which is Groovebox Story Kit. And this is a Synthwave Cyberpunk kit. So let's give that a listen. That's pretty cool too. Nice 80 sound right there. And we'll go to the next one. And this one is the Vien Dang Dut kit. I probably pronounced that wrong, but let's give it a listen. So that one's kind of cool. It's very different. That one's really cool. What do we have next? All right, so this one is the Pasti Gaijian kit. Again, probably pronounced that wrong. It says it's good for all around types of music. So let's listen to it. So that's pretty cool. Instead of the pads, it has the drums that you can click on, which it's a really cool idea. Not a bad lo-fi kind of kit right there. Now let's check out what else we have. This is the Dragon Yao Gun Kit, and it's good for rock Mandarin is what it says. Let's listen to it. Kind of a nice sounding rock drum kit. Has some extra different things that you wouldn't normally find in a rocket. So maybe if you want a different sound, you could go with that one. It's pretty cool. All right. What else do we have here? This one is the Pidux pop kit. So for pop and rock sounds, let's give it a listen. Yeah, it's got that pop rock sound to it. Could be useful in a lot of different types of music. And give some of the other drums a listen. Not too bad. This next kit is the Angung's Futura kit. Great for EDM style. So something a little different than what we've heard so far. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a cool kit. And now we have the YPB Kahan kit. And this should be cool. Let's hear how this sounds. All right, that's really cool for like acoustic types of songs and things like that. Again, it's got that different sort of interface where we click on the different sections to get the sounds. That's cool. All right, next up we have, it's called the Toothbrush Kit. It says it's good for pop and jazz. So let's give it a listen. Kind of a neat sounding kit. Next one is Hellboy Cube for dark music. All right, look at this interface. Let's give it a listen. A K 
kit for horror, thriller, and movie scoring. It sounds pretty cool, and I like this layout. Lots of weird sounds in this one. Very cool. Let's go to the next one. All right, a reggae style kit. A done SG reggae kit. Let's give it a listen. Not bad for reggae. Yeah, that's a great reggae kit right there. So next up we have the Coco Cal Cal Tremor kit. Great for trash metal and gent. So let's give this a lesson. It's a pretty cool kit right there. I can see that being used in metal. Not bad. Oh, and next up is called Game Over. <laughs> this should be like a old school video game. Let's give it a lesson. All right, I like the cool characters that light up. Let's see what else we got. some classics in there and if you want to create that style of music this is the one to go for yep it reminds me of the old school nintendo and game boy days and next up we have the gendang paralon yona kit great for pop or unplugged music let's give it a listen All right, this one's different. I kind of like it. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Let's see what we've got next. Oh, that's the last kit. And it is the Punkadelic kit. Great for punk and ska music which are a couple of my favorite types of music. So let's listen to that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't mind that kit at all. So is the Monster Drums plugin the best free drum VST plugin? Well, it depends on your taste. So give it a download, try it out, see if it's the best for you. And if you want to check out 15 more great free VST drum plugins, click the video on the screen right now or click the one under it to see what YouTube recommends. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.